Hey everyone, Jepon here. Welcome back to Hardcore Tarkov, episode 45 here. As promised, we kitted up that AK-74N or M or whatever it is, and uh, we're going to hop onto Interchange and try to get motors, relays, and PSUs, uh, as well as other a few other PC parts. We have a uh, the option to craft a defibrillator for Jaeger as well. So all that good stuff and more, coming right up. All right, here we go. Okay, not my favorite spawn. Oh, sorry, just getting back from a break here. Not my favorite spawn, but a spawn nonetheless. And I am actually going to load into this because we're more likely to run into a bump into a player here than anything else. I mean, we need to get an Ollie and fight for it, right? Like, that's just how we need to go. Um, because we need motors. I can't believe, I do, I really can't believe how many motors you need in this playthrough. It's actually kind of silly. Oh, I got excited there. Oh, there's the thing we just bartered for. I thought this was a, um, the thing we needed. AR-15, oh, that's a pretty good one. We'll grab that. Because that's the other thing we can get. Because I've definitely found that barrel in Raid before. If we get a barrel for the 870. I heard you shouting. I don't know where you are, though. Okay. Not even going to loot. Uh, did anybody see lag at 38.50 or whatever it is? I don't remember. We got to start keeping an eye out for that. That's a... Unless they fix it in the update. Um, that determines whether kill is here or not. Or, like, is an indication, maybe not exact determination. And that's actually really useful knowledge for us as somebody's trying to loot. Because that'll determine where the players are going to be. Or like a lot of the players are going to be. Um, there's just, there's more... Yes, the, the stash requirements don't change, Noelia. But um, there's more things to craft in the hideout and more tiers um, that are requiring motors for upgrades. So, like the, the weapon, there's a new weapon rack. There's different tiers of um, gun, the gun range now. And all that kind of adds up. I don't need hoses. Classic. I really hate how quiet this raid is, by the way. I know it's a Thursday morning and we're, you know... 10 weeks into wipe or whatever, but... It's eerie when Interchange is this quiet. It means everybody's running around suppressed. Okay. Somebody leaving. It's fine by me, actually. Well, there we go. I feel like I didn't see the lag, so I feel like Killa is up. Not that we're going to go fight him. I've got to get him with BS rounds, but... Um...
Oh, motor. But yeah. We need so many CPU fans as well. I think motors can spawn in the tech stores as well, which is probably where we should also be checking, but... Man, I just really don't like going to tech stores. <laughs> and I say that every time, but then... You know. We end up going anyway. I, th I think we're good on these. I, I genuinely don't know. And whoever was like, hey, now that you have them, you're going to see them everywhere, was totally right. Okay, these shelves can spawn uh, car batteries. Definitely something we want. Now, that said, the ceiling foams do trade for 45 rounders for these AKs, which are actually really solid. I'm a big fan of the uh, 45 rounders. Um, over, like, 60 rounders. Deal. Battery. Definitely need that. Alright, I'm pretty sure we're good on the ceiling foams. So let's just not bother. We're gonna need we are gonna need drills, which definitely do spawn in those tech drawers stores. For sure. Contacts, maybe? A drill. Speaking of. We're going to need at least two for the hideout. Upgrade. And I really would love to be in the position where our only gate is just doing tasks. That would be a really good position to be in. Million grenade cases, huh? Guess I won't complain too much. Some of those are worth a decent amount. There's another motor right there. Okay, I gotta make room for that. Uh, no, no. No. I think we're good on those. Alright. Filter. If anything, those will barter for 60 rounders. Okay. All right, get that out of here. Get that out of here. I think we're actually good on the metal parts. Need two more things gone. Or one more thing gone. All right, we need to leave. Yesterday. We are railway, right? Yeah. We need to leave yesterday. My overweight, overweight? No. That's good. Heard a shot there ish. I 
don't have a melee on me. So our biggest concern now is like player scavs. And honestly, scavs. Like, I think that one just saw me. Stamina back here in case we get shot. Hey, so I'm like, how are you? Always great to see you. Stamina back here. Sure. While looking for that, um, I should really probably take that. Um, there's a revolver that uses that, and that's the best round you can get for those, I think. But yeah, get our seven to back while looking for the, uh, the shotgun barrel that we need. Was my point there. Again, just trying to avoid those scavs. I'm doing really well today. I uh, had my first harvest of my broccoli sprouts yesterday, and they were really good on a salad. So I'm, I'm very excited for that. Eating something that I grew myself is... There is a certain level of satisfaction to it that I don't know if I can describe. But that felt really good. Got my run in this morning. And... Been uh, learning Streets of Tarkov, which is the new map that I didn't really learn last wipe. And... I don't know. It's been good. It's been good. And chat's been, uh, chat's been good. A little quiet, you know? Love you, lurkers. Oh, 12B is the ammo I want. Well, at least we'll have ammo for it if we do get the, uh, revolver. Okay, we're gonna skip the interior caches. And just do the ones along the fence. Garden man, take me by the hand. Yeah. No, I'm excited for it. I, I am, because I, I honestly have too many. So, today or tomorrow... I'm going to um, cut them all because I think you have to cut them off at a certain point. And I'm going to go give them to some friends. Like, I'm excited for that, you know? Homegrown tomatoes make the best BLTs. I think fresh tomatoes make the best BLTs. But yeah, same concept, right? Like, the idea is that the, they're fresh picked. There's something about the flavor of a fresh picked tomato. But I agree. That should be a nice distraction. here. Nope. Almost positive that was just something that hit near me. And wasn't at me. And that's how it's supposed to be, I think. Like, the snaps of bullet pings are loud. And if they're even remotely close to you, Oh, nice. Freddy, no worries at all. You have yourself an amazing day. Thank you for being here. Thank you for hanging out, as always. Much appreciated. Ah, 
massive win. Holy smokes. What a way to kick off the episode. Th all three motors that we need. All three for the Generator 3. One raid. One raid. Let's go, dude. That's so good for us. That is so good for us. And we got another batter for uh, Therapist. Mm. Look at them in all of their beauty and glory. And I immediately ran out of space. Classic. All right. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, we should see how many of those we have to hand in. And, another, and a drill. Honestly, the drill's pretty big, too. They can be kind of a pain in the butt to get. Okay, fuses definitely go in there. Apparently, it's uh, PS12B that we want, but we'll make it work somehow. Uh, yes, yes. These are all to be sold, to be sold, to be sold. Um, this ump's... I think going to get sold. What I think I'm going to do for this one, let's kind of save all that junk. Um, I think I'm going to save the FMJ and save like one mag. So the next time we get an ump from a player, we can just, uh, we could use it theoretically if we wanted to. Uh, let's go ahead and do this real quick first. All right. One more battery. Gets that done. And then mechanic for these things. Oh, oh, our new. Okay. What is the rewards? Not very good. And we can we can afford the rep here. So let's do that for a new weekly because the weeklies are really really important. Fifteen shorelines, huh? Oh, that's really cool. That's a lot of rubles though, and a really yeah. Dang, that's a lot of shoreline. That's a lot of shoreline. We have a lot of tasks on it, so... The problem we're having right now is I would love to start Punisher. But we need to, we need to get bad rep evidence done for Punisher, you know? So... But that's a lot of rubles and a lot of experience. And a good, and a good thing to have going there, which is pretty cool. Alright, let's um, sell here. Very good. Put that away. What are we at now? We're at 4.8 million. Not bad. Not bad at all. We could easily afford a fourth junk box, but honestly, I'm really trying not to. Really trying not to here. Um, okay. That was all really good. We put that there. This is here. So now what do I even need for the hideout? Like, the other the other things we need besides the motors are really just on every map. That's the wild part about it. I guess the PSUs are also on interchange a lot as well. We really need to get Ragman tasks going, but... Um, yeah. It's wild. I got out with that. Could craft another one of these. Could craft this. Could craft more PP rounds. Um... Do more of that, more of that. I guess we get the capacitors going for specifically to the defib. If I don't have the two capacitors I need for the defib craft by the end of this session, I probably will sacrifice this PSU because we're going to need capacitors for other stuff. So I'm not too worried about that. We could turn these into PS rounds. That takes a long time, though. Don't need to craft spark plugs. Here's piranha slugs. Um, those are actually pretty decent. Uh, military circuit boards, not too bad. The fact that I can only... <laughs> that's pretty wild. Uh, being able to convert these into 5.6.8.1 is definitely good. Definitely, definitely good. Yeah. Yeah, interesting stuff, but I don't think we're going to do anything too aggressive here. I think I'm... Mm, I kind of want that DVD player. This is only an hour and 19. I have two extra screwdrivers here. I'm keeping these because these are mags. I also have two extras of these. It's the stock weed I'd be worried about. Okay. Got it. Yeah, let's just start that. That's fine. Um, okay. Yeah. 
All right. These are a little lost here. We could convert all of our... Actually, this is probably not a bad thing. We have a ton of milk. Every sugar we get out, we should definitely craft this if we can't... You know, if we have power on. That is not a bad place to be at. Um, all right. And then what do we need here besides those? So I need PSUs, relays. PSUs, relays, and then obviously level 30, of course. And we still need a fire clean as well, which I believe can still spawn in um, certain things uh, that I'm forgetting the name of. Toolboxes, I believe. But I think filing cabinets and all that kind of stuff is more. All right, well. Oh, I had this journal chat that I didn't hand in. <laughs> yeah, we'll hand that in. No problem. Or is that bugged? Did we, did we hand that in? Have I just had this and I've been super lucky? I've just been super lucky. We've had that for like multiple raids. Oh, man, we've had that for multiple raids, chat. Like, multiple, multiple raids. Oh, this is a good one to get NACLs, by the way. So, that's the on streets, of course. Yeah, okay. That's amazing. It's just because we haven't died yet, like, which is... I... Again, you can't get this kind of content anywhere else, YouTube. I just, you know, I am me, unashamedly. And this is what you got to deal with. <laughs> Send in those Tushunkas as well. General wares. Oh, it's only one. Fair. <laughs> I just, I don't even know. I don't even know, man. I don't even know. And we could also, we could do the lighthouse thing. But I don't think so. So what's our current one? Oh, we need shotgun headshot kills on shoreline. That's another reason you need PSUs. Probably not going to be end up doing that then. Uh, yeah, maybe we make that happen. We have a shotgun, right? Let me find out in the hideout. We have a shotgun. Yes. Okay. And this is why we saved the super performance slugs. Uh, there's not really a way to fit these on there, huh? Actually, though, maybe. Put that guy there. And we can put that guy there. This weapon rack is amazing. Like, actively amazing. Beautiful. And the, the pistols are whatever. No worries, Cynthia. Um, take care of yourself. See you next week. So I have IRL plans. Shocking. That's all good. Have a great whatever you're doing, IRL. And um, thanks for being here. Yeah, YouTube will, be, will catch you up for sure. There's a one by one on the other side. Yeah, but I can't really do a one by one. All right, so for this one, we do want to, uh, let's try this one. It's a fun one. Definitely gonna put on a sprut. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Don't have any of the chokes, that's fine too. We'll put this here, we'll put this here down below here okay I don't love this thing on shoreline I really don't but that's the whole point of this uh all right well, well I'm gonna keep that in there as a backup there's also a chance we should just bring the shotgun and bring this as well like double gun we could also you know what we could do I know exactly what we're gonna do I'm going to bring one of these VPOs in. In particular, that one. Mm. 
Yeah. Yeah. All right, good. Yep. And then this way we have like a little bit of range. Suppressed. But then we can also get the scav kills with that. You know, we can we can use these for the range scav kills, but also get that going there. I, I really like that idea. We can also level up our sniper skill, which is always important. Always important. All right, good. Good, good, good. That's all good. Uh, oh, this has a 50 BMG on it. Sure, why not? These aren't very accurate, are they? Oh, they're actually super accurate. Sick. Okay, well, we'll use those and then use these guys next. Oh, these are extremely accurate, huh? And they give you, like, less recoil, which is pretty cool. All right, is there anything else we need to do on specifically Shoreline? Hey, hey, Rocket John, thank you for the seven months. Appreciate you. I don't think so. Just kind of looting. Where is my one shoreline raid? There it is. Literally one shoreline raid, which is this. So, among other things. Among other things. I would love to get that done and get uh, Punisher going, but that's okay. All right, nice. Uh, we could do nighttime and try and... Nah, not going to do nighttime. See you on raid. All right, we're in. Um... We just care about scavs on the map, so this is actually not a terrible spawn. I don't think. So let's go this way, and then we're going to shoot up the road. We haven't done a shoreline cache run in a while either, so... chambered in that i see red fog with the 32 months heck yeah Two and a half years Woot. good morning dead pine i'm lucky i woke up early enough to catch your stream it's only 8 30 a.m big cheers red fog thank you so much really appreciate that half a stack of sub 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 months it's pretty epic And, uh, yeah, 8.30 is, I guess, fairly early. Considering I woke up at uh, 6, 6 a.m. this morning, I guess it's not too bad, but that's just what I'm used to. Two years, eight months? I mean, whatever. It's good enough. Thanks for the answer, Dippin. Sadly, they only have uh, the first 20 seconds of it because I had to go get the door. I think I got the gist of it, though. Uh, what was the question again? I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, just the idea that you, yeah... When you're a new player, I would just recommend selling everything and not worrying about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you'll learn over time. That's 100% a player. I don't think that was this immediate hill right here, so I'm actually going to skip this cache and see if we can poach this. We'll be stuck in the corner otherwise. Also, we do need, you know, shooter board and heaven kills, which is a lot... Crap. I don't love that, because that's this player might come investigate. Being out of stamina here. I don't think he can shoot over that, which is kind of funny. Hold your breath, dude. Thank you. That was annoying. It's 
okay, but I want the mags. All right, well, there's one. That's good. There was 100% people playing and fighting over here. I don't like this little micro lags I'm getting here. You guys seeing that? Little spasms. What contacts are we wearing? M32s? I don't know. We've been wearing contacts a lot, so I don't know if the M32s. I'm not sure if it was this hill or up on radar. You know? It sounded like this hill. Stutters. Yeah, stutters works. Okay. Let's just get to the road. What I do is I only care about keeping stuff from my need for my current tasks and hideout projects. If I learn something super rare and need it for later, maybe I start to keep it. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing, though. Since... Compared to since when I started playing, there's multiple locations for every type of item. Even lead X's are like... You can get them in different spots. It's not just like the one spot on labs <laughs> where it's almost impossible to get one. You know what I mean? So like... The... You can really... Even the rare stuff, you can kind of always get more. In particular, all the stuff you need for, like, the first, like, 40 levels. You really can always get more. So, you, that, that kind of mentality works even better these days, Raptor, I think, than it used to. Which, like, the idea that you only keep what you're currently working on, and that's it. And the thing with hardcore comes out as, like, we also need to keep stuff for barters as well. Because that's our currency. Our currency is the items, not money. So. Inevitably, we have that one item you need now, but can't find, but pretty sure you sold previously. Yep. Happens every single wipe. That's a PMC body. I think. So that's that fight we heard. Not even going to bother looking at it. It's very clearly been looted. I will check this though, because... Sometimes people just leave that unlooted. Yep. Unhalluted. No. Yes. Yes. Any tips for learning maps so I can get out? Um, definitely have a map on another monitor. I genuinely actually subscribe to print the map. If you have a printer, print it out. Print out a nice detailed version of it and write on it like not even kidding um but try to try to learn streets is the hardest because it's like hard to it's all buildings but like try to learn things that are easy to see from a lot of different locations like this one the example is that big red dome there that's radar tower radar hill try to learn that try to learn the name of it and then use that to orient yourself, you know? And don't be afraid to use the compass. I've been using the compass on streets this morning, Red Fog, to really good effect. Like, I actually got around fairly well because of the compass. Um, which is pretty cool. So, 
So yeah, just try to learn a try to learn a good landmark, and then orient yourself on the map, and then use the map. Yeah, and also just pr generic practice as well, you know. Most maps you go, like, you spawn on one side of the map and you go to the other side with extracts. So, like, if you spawned on this side, your extract is going to be the opposite way of where you can't go. Because <laughs> there's a border there, right? You rarely spawn in the middle of a map. That's another, that's another big one, I think. Uh, is this one up? Looks like it. You really just never know what you're going to get. I need water. It's been another one of those really, really quiet raids. There's a chance I should bring my keys in and try to get the chemical stuff or whatever the 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 the, the, the skier thing it's not chemical chemicals is the one where you get the weapon things oh we should also be doing this as annoying as it is uh i don't know if the sun is proper in this game i would imagine it is but i'm actually not 100% Once you orient yourself with a map in front of you, though, it's pretty easy. I think it's pretty easy. Uh, you know, mo like I said, most maps are just a big rectangle with a few choke points. Don't know. Oh. Okay, so someone there there is dead scabs here. Got it. Oh, it's a one five five. Dang. I saw the barrel and I got very excited. I got very excited. Unfortunate. What's better there? I'm assuming this has been looted. Oh yeah, even even these have been looted. Okay. Actually gotta pick through these because some of these are really important some sometimes. Grab a wire. We left the PSU. I think the PSUs are actually worth a fair amount right now. No way these haven't been looted, right? That said, people might be leaving behind stuff like this. Looks like we are kind of following somebody who's using like a lot of grenades. How do I want to go here? I think I actually want to go to pier, maybe? Maybe? Maybe. Maybe we'll shoot up the coast. Of 
Because although, like, remember, we have to get 15 survives on this map, so, like, playing safe is better than trying to get all the tasks done in one. I mean, going to pier is not necessarily the safest thing, to be fair. That's a bush, right? Pretty sure that's a bush. I can actually see in better without being scoped in. That's fun. Love that either. Don't see any scavs up here. That's a little scary. I'm not sure what unlocks the Sanitar quest line. Well, I don't think this one spawns open. Maybe <laughs> must be upstairs. Ray's gonna be fun. Ah, he had the shattered on. I hit him three times in the face, by the way. Three times. I should have used the VPO. <laughs> so dumb that a little puny mask could stop a slug. <laughs> no way! We hit more than once there. Hello? That has to be weird server thing. Then, I don't know. There's no way we didn't hit more than uh, once there. That's really weird. Huh. I think that might have been a bad server. Not a bad server, but like that that definitely was not that that was not what I was seeing on my screen, 100%. And we can go back and look, but I I definitely saw him flip back there more than once. I also hit him when we initially came in. That's wild. Well, we don't have any more shotguns. So that kind of stinks. And that's so, so you see how my stomach was blacked out there? Not that the press armor would have stopped that, but it would have mitigated some of the damage. That's one of the reasons I don't like non stomach protection armors, which is why I considered not taking the level four there. I, it's still good. Maybe I would have been one tapped if we hadn't done it that way, but like, you see what I mean? Yeah, we were, we were stuttering there for a little while. So maybe it was a bad connection to the server. I don't know. Definitely weird, though. Definitely weird. 
One hit my butt was what it was called there. Nice. Um, I actually am considering doing one of these runs. I know our stash looks really full, but it's actually kind of clear. Um, and we do have the factory key now, which is so sick. So what if we just put that there along with this and I'm just going to drink all that. We haven't done one of these in a while. Let's, let's try it. Little, little factory run. Reset the pallet. All right, here we go. Hopefully, every time I think it, that's the problem. That's a player. Oh, well, maybe not. There's two. Crap. I at least have buckshot in this. Classic. Damn. I, was, I, I thought he was going to peek back in the middle. So I shot in the middle. GG. I mean, again, we started with a hatchet there. <laughs> and had a pretty good uh, chance at, at one-tapping that player, you know? And they knew I was there, obviously. Nice. I guess, to be fair, if that guy had had... Um, If the scav had had a buckshot, we probably would have died. <laughs> to be fair. Most powerful gun in the game. We've done some work with the Taz in the past as a meme run. All right. I'll see you again for another run. All right. Here we go. Again. Okay. This is actually a decent spot for this. That's a player, though. How did you know I was there already? Oh, you okay? Uh, that guy's a little sus. He knew exactly why I was there. Anyway. Uh, nah, that wasn't really that sus because I moved around. Um, one more? Nah. I think I'm good. I think I'm good for now. Because we have an armor barter, so we're gonna we're gonna barter for barter for something armor wise. I, we actually have a shotgun barter as well. We could do, oh yeah, we could do that. We could do a nighttime shoreline run. Yeah. Okay, as I was saying, I did a quick restart of the game. All right. So what I want to do, we want to put on these. Um, I would like to put on. this. Am I bringing these in? I guess I am. And I guess the question is, what the what bag am I bringing? I think I'm bringing this bag in. Uh, 
And by this bag, I mean... This is a really convoluted way to do this. Uh, by this bag, I mean... This bag. And our goal here is going to be to loot a lot. And then we're going to do this. Actually, there's enough room in here. Why am I even bothering? I can literally just do this. Can't loot into them, so. Okay. Good. Good. And then we should have some shotgun barters here. So let's go take a look. So we have that one. Oh, that's what we're saving those red screwdrivers for. Derp. Uh, we have skier. Do I have skiers? No, I'm missing the that key, whatever that key is. Okay. That's all the other marked room keys. They're not all of the other marked room keys, but some of them. That would be nice to have, genuinely. It's a lot to go for, though. Um, this one's actually pretty good too. I think this one actually um, stabs like the antique axe. We might, we, I might give that one a shot at some point. Might start saving toothpaste for that. Still need those. That's a good one to have. Don't need that. Those are still great. Okay. All right. Yeah. So we'll do this, and this is the reason we save all those, all of these guys. Definitely want to spread on here. Beautiful. And I'm just going to use Buckshot. I know, I know slugs are pretty good for this. One, I don't have slugs, but two, I also just, I much prefer Buckshot. Let's do that. And that, I'll keep that one in case I do want to use one of those. Okay, that's all good. So I need an armor and or an armored rig. I'm going to put that there so I can trade. Um, I think we got another propane barter, right? We sure did. Let's do that. And then we actually have these ready to go. Okay, good. Good. Yeah, that's all fine. Let's do this. Let's bring that CMS in. Goal being a longer-ish raid. Um, where we use that. Do four, six... I just need splints. Okay, once again, we can afford to lose the splints, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Better grab more of those later. Are we good? Oh, no. I'm taking the NVGs. Uh, are we taking in these or these? I think we're taking in these. They're not as good. But that's okay. And then I think I am putting that on there. Um, it's a little easier to, to do those with the ADSing. And then we're going to bring in, honestly, this. And we're done with this task, so we can bring in this. And hopefully we'll find more liquids along the way. What do you do? You're only plus 20 on hydration, which is kind of a bummer. Just gonna drink that and then we'll eat we'll have this ready to go. Alright. Good, good. Oh, there is no pure nighttime raid. Dang. Alright, well then we're going. <laughs> All that prep for nothing, dude. All that prep for nothing. I just don't want to risk an MVG when it's not properly nighttime. We'll still bring this in. Yeah. I will see you on raid. All right.
right. That's actually a really solid spawn for just a looting trip and then leave. Hopefully. Um, with potentially one, like one scav kill. Made a new list here of things we need. Which include uh, four NACL, three relays, and four PSUs. And that's all prior to... Level 30. It's a player. Leaving, maybe? I want nothing to do with that. I'm actually going to let it not loot there. I'm going to go here and loot. Because they can go to that hill and overlook. don't think they were trying to loot here. I think they may have, may have been going back to do tasks. Ah, uh, which is totally fine. Maybe trying to get scav kills, which which we you know want to, but don't desperately need. Like I said, if we're gonna get fifteen survives on this map for the weekly, you know, it's not really a huge priority. I did loot this right. Did I loot this one? It feels like I didn't loot this one. I did. And the second we get, like, kind of any of these items that we need, I think we're definitely out of here. I've had worse guns. We do that. Mercutio, thank you for sharing your prime for 42 months. I really appreciate you and all that support. I need the gun oil, not the fire steel. Sharing primes is such an amazing way to support the content here and on YouTube. So thank you, thank you. Hope you're doing well. I didn't mean to pump fake my look there. <laughs> Meant to actually look left, but I let go of my wheel too early. Basically, sell it, be selling most of this stuff. Because we're, we're just trying to kill time here as well. Until nighttime, so. That's a good one. That was that bad?
And we still have a chance to get our uh, thing that we need. Oh, I like that one. I, it's not worth the slot to take out because it's literally just plus one ergo. But I really enjoy min-maxing guns. Uh, quite a bit. Deal. It's like a shattered. Take that. What was that? Oh, just a red tray. Question is, do we just get out with what we got here? More relevant than that. I think that one technically counts as a sniper rifle, though. So maybe that one's actually. Uh, you know what? If this counts as a sniper rifle, which I don't remember if it does or not, we could go try to get um, close quarters kills with that. Oh, it counts as a shotgun. This counts as a shotgun, chat. We can get headshots with this thing. Oh, or did it say specifically 12 gauge? I think it might say specifically 12 gauge. This heat wave's rough. I mean, we have, we have AC, so it's, like, fine, obviously. But the hard part is when you don't have AC and you're expecting it to be cooler. It's always rough. You also have AC. It's not keeping up, though. Ah, oh, bummer. Yeah, central air works a little better than window units sometimes, but even central air can slack off. Well, that's a fun sound that I don't really want to hear right now. That cache is down here. No, I know very few people in the UK have no AC. Uh, yeah, we don't really need that. That's it's tough, you know. It's really tough. I used to love farming jackets here. Oh, I don't need this stupid thing. It's a very obvious one to get rid of. Don't fall in a ditch. Dead fine. Yeah, one of my favorite things to do in Tarkov for the longest time was farm keys in this village. I still enjoy it. There's also duffels in this place. Or like a potential for a large amount of duffels, which is pretty cool. I don't think there's anything in this. See, there's sometimes a duffel up here, which means that it can probably sometimes be two duffels up here now. And duffels are quite good these days. I do have a nice spread of loot. I don't think we need a second. I 
um, key tool. Like, there's just no reason to have a second key tool, I think. Hmm. Actually, though, that's not even worth all that much. Um, we should just, this is actually worth a decent amount per slot, I think. Is this one open? No. All right. And then this house over here has four jackets in it or, you know. Sometimes has four jackets in it now. We're going to start making our way out here. Something. That's actually really good for money. Jeez, these are all... Fat. Oh, is that it? Is that our barrel? That might be our barrel. All right. Well, you're gone for sure. Uh, you're gone for this. You're gone for this. You're gone for this. RK6, I think, is actually pretty good as well. Let's grab that, because that sells well. All right, we're out of here. All right, I lied. We're not out of here. We're going to still loot for the jackets, but once the jackets are done, we're out of here, okay? Almost pinky promise. They're both brand new, so they should have the same durability, AK. Yeah, they were both found in weapons skates crates. But good call. We can get NACLs from these duffels, so and dilute them. Alright. Sure. I really hope this is the right barrel. I want to say there's fuel spawns on the floor in there, but I can't remember it off the top of my head if I'm being totally honest with you. Is this the one that opens? Looted everything in this row except for the last house here. So I'm gonna loot this house because I'm skipping the uh, the gunpowder house. It's straight up empty. Minus the jacket, which is gonna give us a quest key, right? Very full. Ooh. Oh, there's that gun I was talking about. I actually might use that. Perfect. That's all that matters. We can grab that as well. Okay. Quest key. We tried. We tried. All right, time to leave.
Then we can do a proper nighttime. With MVGs and lots of headshot kills. And we also got to remember to bring a marker in as well. Because I want to be able to mark the, the marked room in on here. This side has so much less cover than the other side. GG's, let's go. Hopefully this is the right barrel. I really hope this is the right barrel. And then if this is the right barrel, we're going to unlock the barter for ammo cases, I think. Which would be exceptionally good. Nice. All right. It's good stuff. Let's see if this is correct. I don't even know if this will be correct or not. Let's put that there. Let's put this here. Think it will be? Yes. All right, what are we short now? It's still too much of that, so we need... All right, so maybe maybe this, this is not the stock we need then. I mean, this is also a shorter barrel, potentially, maybe? I don't actually know. Well, let's see if the other barrel, the other uh, other thing can do it here. Because we've got some options here. No, that's actually worse. Huh. Because this is, like, pretty good as far as those are concerned. I do wonder how the... I the, Maybe there's a longer barrel than this. Hold on. I guess we could just do link search here, right? And look at the barrels. Yeah, we're probably going to need this barrel. I don't think we're going to get enough with this. This this stock, though, is very good compared to for recoil specifically. Because this is 2, 32. This is 35. So, like, this, is, this stock's always going to be better. Okay. Um, what if we do link search on the barrel? Oh, okay. Hold on. Can I put the claw on this? Didn't I have a claw? Oh, the claw doesn't fit on that, though. Hey, no worries. Not going to be where I'm at on YouTube. No worries, Dark Legend. It's good to have you here. We're just working on some things. Yeah, maybe it's the choke that we need, which, you know what we can do right now and try this? I forgot about that part. Um, we can do this barter. Which we've been saving for a while. We can do this barter. No, we can't do this barter. Ah, need another red screwdriver. <laughs> ah, classic dead pine. Classic, classic dead pine. Um, can I barter for... I can barter for the shotgun... But that doesn't fit on the sil the, the the other suppressor. I need the adapter and the muzzle brake, I think. I don't think that adapter works with the muzzle brake. I think the only adapter that works on here is this 12-gauge adapter. And I'm pretty sure this only... Yeah, it's only this thing. Which this may work... Um, for the recoil part of this. And may maybe I'm not, maybe I can't, I'm pretty sure it said I could, right? Uh, link search here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this Remington. Choke. 
gives us eight recoil. I think it's either the longer barrel or I wonder. So, so can somebody do the math on this? I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we could do. Because this is 346. So 546. Nah, there's no way 8% of that is less is 40, right? Maybe. So I think we do need the longer barrel regardless. Anyway, it's a step in the right direction, I think. It's just not what we need. So I am going to save that barrel just in case. Um, and we are going to save this. But I do think this is a... These can be sold now. So... All right, I'm going to get this organized and ready to sell. I'm going to show you what we sell. I'm going to do one of those kind of montage things where we're getting organized, but I'm going to show the, you know, unpause real quick for all the individual sales. And um, then we're going to get geared up and uh, hop back in there, I think. We're going to use that hose that we got to uh, do this. Just save ourselves some rooms here. So that'll give us the full gym, which is really nice. Okay, good. Okay, nice little 100k from Therapist there. And then the last one will be this. Beautiful. Actually, maybe I should have saved that SMT. That's all right. Okay, what are we looking at time-wise here? We're looking a lot. Also, I did look it up. It is specifically a 12-gauge shotgun, which is to be expected, to be fair. Um, I was going to say, we did run out of room in here, but now that we uh, upgraded our hideout... Should have plenty here. Should have plenty here. All right, let's make sure we have a marker on us. Now that we are kind of filled up there, I think we'll be okay. Uh, might actually be using this. Maybe. And... Take that out. Now we should be going in in a full night time. Actually swap that out. Mm, not sure how far that's going to put me back. Hopefully not too far. But yeah, let's... um. Not sure why that was the case there. That's weird. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, so we're looking for a red screwdriver again. Classic. Um, but we're hopping back onto Shoreline. And we are going to try to maybe get into Resort late this time. Um, and kind of go from there. Yeah, be full of my time. Nice. See y'all in raid. Uh-oh. Oh, we really late spawned. Wow, two minutes? How fast did we load in, chat? Holy smokes. How was I in here for two minutes? The heck? Like 20 seconds after I left? Oh my goodness. I was like, cool, we got a long load in. I'm going to go <laughs> start prepping my lunch. Well, fastest load ever. It's, it feels like it. Holy guacamole. It's actually good for us because we actually want to kill time here before... Like, moving anywhere. So. Not the worst. Sorry you guys had to sit there and watch me be spawned. Whoa. There's that choppiness again. Still looking for relays, still looking for all sorts of stuff. Chair had uh, some awesome tips. Nice, nice. Good job, Chair. Good job. Don't you ever take my job again. Jerk. Oh, 
Oh, I skipped the garage in this place. That's what I skipped. Which can definitely have the red screwdriver. Yeah, so red screwdriver to trade for the choke. So we did the math. The choke is almost enough, but not quite enough. But if we get the choke plus a four, like the a guide for a different grip, we could definitely use that barrel. So we have two avenues here to kind of victory. On the gunsmith uh, task there. So, yeah, we'll see. I do think that whatever... I, I don't remember what shotgun we got. Like, I'm, I don't remember what task we got that shotgun from or whether I sold it. There's a good chance I sold it. Can I jump this? I can. That's good. That's really good. That's also really good. This is for... AKs? Yeah, that's fine. Whenever we get an M700 up, up and running, having a 10-rounder on it, it's pretty cool. have it already, but we'll sell it. I think it's worth a decent amount. That is one of the tasks we're currently working on. Pretty sure that's one of the uh, the rooms we need to get into for a skier. But deal. Cover up my pasty white face. Diaries are good. It's actually going to be kind of hard not to leave after looting this the town. Because usually we have like a lot of good stuff. Got four rounds of uh, PGL ammo. I mean, we do need the survives, right? So like... I don't think it actually would be the biggest deal if we did leave. We are going to loot the whole thing, though. And I do think anything we pull out here, we might just have to sell. Probably need to go through all of my junk boxes and, like, sell some stuff from those as well. Stop it around here. Don't need duct tape. Doesn't sell very well, but it sells okay. Yeah, we got out with like just a red screwdriver. I'd be pretty happy. This is a little of the reason why I tend to, tend to loot the top of the T of the town and not everywhere. I think we did this already, right? Yeah. Because uh, this place can be a little bit lackluster. It has stuff. And it has, you know, the randomness of duffels and jackets. But, like, this one has those guaranteed hardware spots. Oh, we already went in here. I think I saw a flashlight up there. They usually scav spawn in the town. I think I'm going to skip that other house as well. Well, 
Might as well start a stack. I hope that was a headshot. Pretty sure it was, but... Gonna need one of those for Ragman. Honestly, that stuff's just not bad. Uh, I think we're good without the wiper fluid. I guess they trade for BT ammo. Alright, don't really need that. Yes. Small enough, sells well enough. Yes. Um, yes. Small enough, sells well enough. Yes. Uh, that sells well enough as well. Gonna need five of those for a hideout. It's not for a while, though. The rest of this stuff is, like, kind of... Debatable. Alright. So, not gonna worry about that. I do want to loot this side of the street here. I think the PS rounds are the better ones. Might be the BT that's the best one. I don't remember. Off the top of my head. Well, we got two last time and none this time. Classic. Just check along there for the hardware stuff. And we'll go in and loot the back edge of this. Gonna need those. We just spent five of them. So we are gonna need more. One day we'll get a graphics card there. One day. This has a chance for one of those wood cases, maybe? I don't remember. That's relatively close. Somebody going to extract, probably. Uh, now, for Water Collector 2, we actually might need hoses again, because I did just spend some hoses. So, we'll grab those on the way out. No armor damage should be a headshot. Yep. All right. Good call there, uh, Ife. They only sell for 20000 So I don't really know if that's worthwhile, but we'll grab it. Okay, grab the jacket. sell for all that much but that is okay i've definitely found plex in here so Perfection that that is. I don't know. If, oh, I was gonna say I don't know if things spawn there, and then we found that. Nice. I 
how much money I made off of selling Poxerum. Oh, there's capacitors. We actually need those. Because we've sold a lot of that stuff. <laughs> oh, those are metal parts. Uh, I believe the file kit sells for more than the tool set? Question mark? Okay. Are we checking this place? I think we briefly looked, yeah. There's a hose here, which is why I made that comment about the hose earlier. Alright. We gotta start making some cuts here. Because I'd rather, honestly, I'd rather have the money right now. Set. Oh, are we overweight, overweight? Would appear to be the case. All right, that's probably not worth its slots. I know that's weapons parts, but like, meh. I'd rather be able to move quickly. Spawned on the floor there. It's actually pretty good. So pretty good. Solid chunk of energy. It's like a really solid chunk of energy. Red strip. We tried. We tried. Okay, let's do this. I mean, there's plenty of toolboxes left to loot here. Classic. Oh, another one. Nice. I don't know if we're not gonna really have room for those, huh? I don't think I'm gonna be able to jump that. Straight up. Not even gonna try it. I am gonna loot back here though, because. 600 mil barrel for an 870 is definitely on our list of things we want. So we will be looking. I think we have enough 545. That's not PP. We can also craft more PP at any time. So. Mm. It's like okay. Okay, not great. Yes, I said I said PP. That is the thing I said. <laughs> this, is my, this is a good comment. The fact that your PMC can get candy bars open easily with gloves on and the first try, but can't open the lip balm on the first try is remarkable. Agreed. Yeah, you think one would help with the... Uh... My... I should... Why was I sprinting? Why was I sprinting? It's annoying. That's annoying. GG. Man, I just wanted to loot in peace and leave. I mean, that person probably wanted to do the same thing.
But if I hadn't been sprinting there, there's a chance I could have used the pistol. Which is what my goal was there. Oh, they had a Glock out and then they switched to their Mosin. Got it. Bummer. Bummer. All right, well, YouTube, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, that's a really crummy way to die. It's weird that that person was there so late, but, like, I, there's money to be made there. You know, there's money to be made there. Probably going to switch up the maps then. Um, I'm not really sure exactly what I want to work on, work on. Because um, that Shoreline Weekly is nice, but not necessary, if that makes sense. So we'll, we'll, we'll definitely, you know, throw on something like that. Probably put this 74N back on. Um, let me go check the hideout stuff real quick. Okay, yeah, I just want to get a final count on it. We, so we do need four or three more metal parts, um, three relays, four PSUs. Uh, again, these are all these are all sounding like interchange. We do want to work on therapist, I guess. But we also need to get NACLs. Um, and then just making sure that wasn't interrupted. And then a fire clean still. Yeah, fire clean still. Uh, and then this is being upgraded. We didn't we didn't sell anything that we needed here, right? Okay, good. Just making sure we're we're still good to go on these things, you know. And then rest space three is a tough one. We'll need all those capacitors. So we're gonna need multiple PSUs. Um, kind of wild how unforgiving Shoreline was there. And then this one needed so the, upgrading our gym didn't take away from anything. It was ba basically my main point there. Yeah, and this is the hard part of this one is we need shooting upgrade too. This is something we're going to work on really slowly over time after, like, the main things are done, you know, as a keep in the, keep in the back of our mind, but not, you know, not 100% necessary type of, type of deal there. Um, I think I might do this though. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to get this kitted up with this 74N here, much like we were using last time. I don't need the keys anymore. Um, and what we'll do there is uh, probably go interchange. We still need to do the uh, the the ragman tasks. I think those will be big big deal. Get the ragman tasks going. Maybe try to finish this. That's that's gives us some good uh, some good stuff going there. But yeah, getting a big sale done I think will be a really important thing to do. Also because there's a mechanism bag to loot with, which is you know not nothing, not nothing at all. Um, I mean, there's also a chance we should just go to customs and try to get this other, ta you know, that, that task done as well. But I'm getting distracted. YouTube, thank you so much for tuning in, watching these all the way through. Um, I really appreciate those who do. Thank you for sharing your Prime in the Twitch chat. That's such a big deal. Even if I'm not online, I see them. Thank you. Um, it's a huge deal. It really does uh, add up at the end of the month. And that did count for a kill, by the way. Um, yeah, so really, really good stuff. Really good stuff. Um, I appreciate you tuning in. Big shout out to the Patreons. Uh, that's it. Sub if you haven't already. I'd love to have you back. And uh, we'll catch you next episode. Bye-bye.